Hello and welcome back to our PyBytes YouTube channel. Today we have a video about TextBlob, an interesting NLP library, which makes it pretty easy to um, look at review data and quickly single out which reviews are negative. And we're going to do it on some sample data, but also on some real data from our platform. So let's dive straight in. Today we're going to talk about TextBlob, a simplified text processing library. It's very easy to use. You can import it and give it some text. And then you can look at the sentiment polarity, for example, where closer to minus one is negative and close to one is positive. So let's give this a spin. First, let's make a virtual environment. Activate it. Yep. Install text blob. And it's as easy as importing the library. And give it some text. So we can see what's in there. And I want to look at sentiment. That gives me a name tuple of the polarity and the subjectivity. So 0 0.75 is pretty subjective and polarity of 0 0.8, again, closer to one is pretty positive. Let's look at another one. So sucks is indicating something negative. So it's below zero, but still not to the extreme of minus one. And the subjectivity is 0 0.3, which maybe is debatable. <laughs> This is absolutely terrible. With minus one, that's the most negative we can get. And it's also the most subjective we can get. Cool. So you can see where this is very powerful in that if we have a bunch of reviews, we can run them through this analyzer and um, yeah, sort them by negative and positive. So let's do that next. And there they are. This sucks, pretty negative, marvelous, very positive. It was so, so neutral, I wake up early, nothing really happening there. I can do better, the detected a positive, I found it hard. It detects that as a little negative, etc., etc. So now we can sort them, of course, to see which ones are the most negative. actually rename that. And let's sort these. So let's uh, look at the polarity only for now.
and let's sort them by the second element of the tuple. All right. Need a code in here. And let's run this again. And now they're sorted ascending from most negative to most positive. So of course this is just some demo data, but imagine you run this against all the reviews for say the byte exercise on the platform. This can be very useful. Let's actually do that. So let's copy in some reviews I downloaded from the database and update our script to not use this, but use the reviews. So we load in that file and it should give us a list of review lines because we do read lines. So let's run that again. Actually <laughs> pipe that into uh, more. <laughs> and here we got some very negative stuff, which sometimes is also just frustration by the fact that an exercise is hard, so it's not always indicative of a problem with the exercise. And in the real world use case, I also linked the bytes, of course, here, but this is just, uh, I simplified it a bit for this uh, video. So here are the negative reviews. I think the test is wrong, definitely indicative of something we need to look at. Again, used re-i instead of flex re-i, that's more to do with the user taking the byte than the actual byte, but still, you know, this works as a quick tool to get an idea where we probably need to look at certain exercises. And that's it for today. The final code is here on their NLP dash text blob. And um, yeah, pretty similar. Um, I used the adder getter. I did some pretty printing um, and I received an argument from the command line. But yeah, this is a quick script. And if you run this on your reviews for maybe your product, you can get a quick indication of things to address thanks to this sentiment analysis. Again, a very simple library to use, great abstraction. It uses NLTK under the hood. Uh, it also has some advanced features. You can swap out the analyzer. You can use Naive Bayes analyzer. That was a bit slower and actually got pretty good result by the default pattern analyzer. So yeah, using it as is, you should get pretty good results. Hope this is helpful and see you in the next video. This is Bob again. Hope you enjoyed that video. To not miss any future videos, hit subscribe below so you get notified when we publish new videos. Also, if you want to see training on specific topics, please comment below. And also make sure that you join our thriving Slack community to meet other Pythonistas. See you in the next video.